All right, so you wanted PS1 style renders out of Blender, but you don't know how to get them. I'll show you that and how to do the N64 style if you wanted that instead. They're almost the same, but there is a slight difference that you need to know and it all comes into play at the end. Go to your render properties, go to film, crank that all the way down to 0.01. This will help give you sharp edges in the final render so they're not all aliased and smooth. Go to your compositing tab, check mark use nodes and spread those two apart. Drop a scale, then duplicate it, and then put a pixelate in the middle of the two scales. On your first scale, set the X and Y coordinates to 0.25. On the second node, set the X and Y to 4. This will do all the hard work for us, so all we need to worry about is the objects in our scene. As you can see, the edges are already very pixelated, and the look is pretty much done. If you wanted less pixels, grab the first scale and set the X and Y to 0.5. Grab the second scale and set it to 2. The edges are less pixelated, but still give you the look. This would be better for a Dreamcast or maybe a PS2. Make sure you're using Eevee. You don't need cycles for this kind of thing, you don't need ray tracing, and you shouldn't have to wait extra long just to get the same look. You can get the same look from Eevee with a bit more work, and I 10 out of 10 recommend it. I had a render take me 30 hours when I used Cycles. If I had known to use Eevee before that, I would have saved myself 2 days. If you're having a hard time getting the look, check mark all these on the side. Maybe turn off Motion Blur or Bloom. This will really carry you a long way to get a nicer look in Eevee. So let's talk about modeling. Bring in a sphere. You'll see a menu pop up in the bottom left. This will do all the low poly magic without you having to do much work, but if you click off your object, it goes away. Delete that, spring it in again. Just crank a few sliders around, and you have the look you need without having to do much work. <laughs> Let's say you bring in a high poly object, but you don't know how to start making it low poly. You don't want to retopple it, because that takes forever. Grab a decimate modifier, and crank it down until you get something you like. If you want even more low poly, apply that decimate modifier, and add another one. This will help you from destroying the object and still giving you an organic shape. I do two decimate modifiers because cranking down just one will destroy the object and topology. In terms of texturing, I usually keep my textures from 128 by 128 to 256 by 256. I only go for a higher resolution if I want to preserve details in the texture, such as for faces or clothes. Let's bring in a new material add the image texture, and I'm just going to pull one from my library, uh, in this case just a cardboard box, and let me just project that real quick, and boom, we have a box. Fantastic, I know, incredible. Either way, let's just render that real quick. Right now we have the less pixelated filter, and you can see it still gives us that look, but it's not as dramatic as you would see on the PS1 or N64 consoles. So I'm going to switch that back to a high pixelated filter and render it out one more time. That is much, much, much better. It looks like it could come straight from Metal Gear Solid. You might notice something is missing. Go back to your image texture and click the tab below it that says Linear. Set that to closest. Now you can see our image is much more pixelated and much sharper. This is the PS1 look whereas linear, in my opinion, would be the N64 look. With the max pixelation applied, you can see that this is much more accurate to what we would have seen on those old consoles. Yeah, anyways, that's the whole video. There's not much else to talk about, I think. If you have any questions, let me know. If you want to show me your low poly renders that you made after seeing this video, send them in the link below. Uh, or DM me on Instagram. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, and maybe I'll make another one of these. I just gotta figure out a subject first. If you have any suggestions, uh, let me know, and maybe I can figure them out. Alright, bye.